versus Blacklist International. Eyes on the early rotations. Where are junglers starting? Welcome to Mobile Legends. Just seem like both teams are trying to like make sure that their jungle is safe. Grin, of course, on that Hilda will be attempting to try and get a bit more value, abusing that passive coming in from the Hilda. Yeah, so it feels like it is going to be a mirror matchup. Of course, the Fanny will prioritize the purple buff first, but instead of seeing Vin, you know, hard invading on the enemy side, it is Vin on the protective side. It's something, as I mentioned as well, all my Venus will need to stay around the mid lane, need to make sure that Haji gets to level 4 as quickly as possible. Yep, and for the first minute, 45 seconds, I'd say Vin could be a little more aggressive, and I guess that's why Haji and Omai Venus are staying here. That's the reason why they're trying to protect Wise and get him his buffs before, again, the much, much faster Albert can come in and try to contest. Mm -hmm. A lot of situation right here, but Vin actually gets jumped on, he gets stunned, won't be enough in this early game, and this is the problem, right? They uh, they don't really have any pressure in the side lanes to try and facilitate Vin trying to just disrupt Vice's farming pattern. And being on a Fredrin, he is, he can hold his own 1v1. Yep, I, I mean the best part about why he's going for the Fredrin jungler is that he's unfazed about the damage coming up from Vin. And not only just that, because all my Venus is sticking around the mid lane, there's a lot of heal, but hold on a second, Albert's already spinning over here! First going over to the home Hit it on the right, but this is what RQ exactly needs to do. Small lead in a minute and a half, about 500 gold, but that's what you do with a lineup like this. We thought that the target was going to be Haji. It is Oh My Venus, bursted even through the ages. That mm -hmm. is unreal. Early game damage coming in from RQ. It's not even level 4. Yep, uh, something to note, we didn't see this in the prep or the draft going into this. A battle spell we rarely see in game, at least in the professional scene. Yes indeed folks, that is my Venus on the Aegis. Oh, something down bottom here. I feel like it's just about Aegis, making sure that if my Venus is able to survive even longer to sustain against the burst damage coming up from Albert, so that he could just spread out the heals. But something very interesting is when my Venus is the one that lost uh, his life first, Haji only gets hit level 4 at the same time. A lot of pressure coming in, Albert coming to the spin, but he will not be able to find anything as well. Edward Pals for split for now, it's coming in, possessing Vin for now. On the middle, but here comes the call at the same time. Haji on the back line, running down the air strike, but will be in the push, spin out of the jungle. Oh, that's a one for none. And that's our RQ with a man down. They're pushing Clay away as they start this first turtle. Yes, Edward. Oh, no. He's actually putting a lot of pressure against Albert, but Albert's actually spinning around. Look at the... Uh, oh, no. Albert, Edward just managed to push Albert away, giving Wise that turtle. That is absolutely fantastic. Our RQ is going to get something back. Edward is the main target here. Edward! Edward! And it's still over, both teams duking it out. And they're duking it out. It is all going, oh no, Albert, he got taunt right inside the turret, inside the brush as well, but he's able to cable away. Blacklist International, they stabilize, but RRQ on the other hand, they're, they're, they're not taking prisoners. Ooh, it's just a tough situation right here, and Albert is the one that needs to back off. Better airstrike. Both trading, but Feather Airstrike will not be able to make a big difference. And I think Wise actually stole the orange. Yes, he did. Looking at uh, the board here, Blacklist have gotten a small lead. Again, three minutes and a half. We're about a minute and 15 from that next turtle. Again, let's talk about the emblems here, because again, even the battle spells have gotten already pretty tricky. Rashi, talk us through. I mean, look at all that movement speed being prioritized. Rotations, rotations, rotations. Mm -hmm. That is what both these teams like to use to get an advantage. And unfortunately for our Q, early on in this game, I don't think the Faramis Cult Altar can give you that much value because you have you don't have the same amount of damage that you can dish back out. Whereas for Blacklist, having Haji on that Farsa just allows them to just destroy RRQ when they're clumping up in the jungle earlier. So they need to wait for a bit more power spikes to ensure that Aside from having a second life, they had the damage to back it up as well. Yeah, and already, it looks like RQ are off-tempo. It seems like Blacklist's response to this hyper-aggression in mid has found its match. Wise gets pulled very, very precariously because, again, bigger presence from RQ here in the mid. But Turtle is spawning in the top side. Oh, him pops a torn apart memory. Oh, I'm loving Blacklist's positioning right now. I love all my Venus positioning, in fact. Being in the mid lane means that you could actually rotate all the way up top, all the way up mid, all the way bottom. In fact, even the jungle, this global map presence of All My Venus is there. Even with Albert's Fanny, wasn't able to match. This is why it's just so difficult. 
RRQ, they want to go for pickoffs. They want to abuse Albert on that Fanny with that early game damage. But when Blacklist clump together, fight together as a team, they have the Fire Mist as a quote unquote counter, but it's not working right now. Defender SI will be able to land off Albert as Ooh. well. Albert will be able to cable all the way out back to safety. But that is a very low jungler. Albert needs to go back and reset. Blacklist, they have total control for now. Oh, they go ahead and start it. R7. It's only R7 first to the scene. R7, Jimmy is having a round. Skylar coming oh. in, but it's going to be R7. Going there, still will be able to convince Finn. Whoa, also more oh, in the hands of Wise for now. But R7, look at this joint. Super annoying. And Hanji can't get the machine. Whoa, also more. Oh, and Wise right now trying to delay, trying to actually put down some damage. But look at Skylar, he's actually pushing up at the same time. Clean already here. But Edward possesses R7 right there. But what are you going to do? There's a Skylar right there, right ready for you to pop. Edward, I'm a little bit afraid of you. You have to run away, my boy. But Edward, turn it around. A long form trade there by Agent Zero, buying time, buying map space for Blacklist International, keeping that fumble in, I guess, recoverable space, and they push down bottom. Arashi, how did Blacklist recover? They were just able to actually buy so much time in that fight, and their members were able to come back from the fight despite being taken out earlier on due to the big combo from RRQ. This is what RRQ needs to be very careful about. They have a lot of damage, but they need to make sure that they do not allow Blacklist to have multiple rotations of their mm -hmm. ultimates. Finn! Man, this is a catch. Oh, my goodness, has to pop the ultimate for now. It's gonna be all oh, my goodness again. She's gonna do all the... But here comes the other assassination. He finds the queen! And we'll be able to zip and set all the way. RRQ on the roll right here in the KDA. Arashi, that's Oh My Venus, third death away. V Wise, of no. course. If you take down V Wise, is gonna respond. Oh, they're looking for something. He's trying to look for something. Skylar will be able to be MI all the way out. Edward, I don't think there's any kills for now they can do. Blacklist, they managed to stabilize for now. Arashi, so, talk to me. It's so dangerous right now, man. RRQ, I think once they have a bit more items, they can start being a lot more menacing to Edward, to Oh My Venus, and Wise. This is what we've seen again and again. Very solid damage dealers from back far away, and three very solid tanky members in the front. This is what Blacklist is working with right now, and unless Arc has the right items, for now, Blacklist still has the advantage. They can still bully RRQ away from the objectives. Yep, but it's gonna be Bin that engages all the way for the stay coming in, but it's gonna be Edward. Oh no, he stops Albert right now. It's gonna be Retrovato, but it is won by Wise. And now, and then it's gonna be Blacklist he's going to try to do something. R7 all the way in the back line, looking at that one. He's actually super tanky right now. The match is going to be pop. Wise coming in, defender extra oh. going in. R7 needs to run away, and he managed to run away from the artillery strikes. Something tells me this is the ideal engage that Blacklist was looking for maybe two or three minutes ago. Yes. That's what they wanted to do in that other turtle up top, and now they're able to finally execute. They're able to pick off a win in that jungle fight, and afterwards, you can see that everyone just jumps on the opportunity. RRQ, they are forced again and again to back away, but now that Skylar has the golden staff, it's going to be something that Blacklist needs to keep in mind. Right? They are working against the clock right now. And with this 1,000 gold lead, their stats against Indonesian teams at M4 are looking a little better, right? The small lead in the mid game, eight minutes in, 1,000 gold ahead. They're currently sitting at zero and six against Indonesian teams. Their fate may change right here. They have a, cha they have a chance to just turn it around, but look at this EXP lane. It's just constant battling. And keep in mind, R7 was able to be so tanky there due to that vengeance. This will be a lot more annoying the longer the game goes. Once he has the concentrated energy, the other sustain items, it's going to be near impossible for Blacklist to try and kill him without locking him down. Yeah, locking down, I think from the side of Blacklist right now, they're able to stabilize. Oh, no, man, he gets caught out. It's a whole gang, but the colors are coming in just in time to save time. Oh. Gonna jump over the way in. Let's go, Oka will not be able to do more than enough for our R2 to slowly take down Blacklist. It's gonna be just Wise, he gotta be just Edward, and now Skylar, he gets caught. Baby, am I out? R7 on the chase right here. Wise looking in the middle, oh. Edward oh. gets to the oh. hill, and then he will try to possess. Going in his basement, he got on top of R7. It's just a slow. Slow that for the joy. Agent Zero gets his man. Down goes R7. Something tells me as we get more into the late game, there will be a cap. There will be a 
limit for RRQ's aggression, and then more and more Blacklist can find their way into this game. Ten minutes in. The longer the game goes, the more healing All My Venus will have, but also the more damage RRQ will have. So it's going to be a bit of a balance. It all comes down to execution. That blazing duet was just so devastating, and if Blacklist keep coming together, that's dangerous. Albert coming in will not be able to do the rest of the battle. Albert needs to time out for now. It's going to be Blacklist going to be engaging on top of RRQ for oh. now. It's going to be Ben and first of all, the Haji. The heal coming in, managed to sustain for Blacklist to fight. Down goes the M-Series all-timer who hit his 500th assist in the M-Series overall win, sitting at zero. Five and five. The Hilda's doing its work, right? Looking at its items, he has physical defense in the Antikiras. He's building up towards magic defense. But I gotta say, against Blacks International, you're really only building against Oheb for physical. What's going on here? Well, they want to make sure that their main kickoff tool, right? The Tunnel of Memory cannot be used. Oh! oh! Strike! Elba gets deleted! Right off the map as he tries to get his purple buff. And that's not a good timing for RRQ. Arashi! Back to the point. Back to the point, man. The Torn Apart Memory is the main tool they're using right now. The other fighter is going to be difficult to deal with, but R7 is going to deal with the whole team of Blackest alone. Yeah, but not just that. It's going to get denied by the Oh My Venus actually here, but the Urban Mike Ventures is actually trying to take the shot. Hey, coming in with the car, Whoa. making sure that the Joy stays alive just a little bit. Ben, he finds the back line, and he wipes out uh, Haji. At the same time, there'll be the trade for R7, but Oh My Venus, the damage starting to come for RRQ. Blackness is trying to crack the bottom lane open. Oh, they pull that way! No. And the split split comes in right on time. The baby alien has to respond to the lane up top. And just like that, 11 and a half minutes in, 5k gold lead, Black International turning the map red. It's such a chaotic game, but at it the is. end of the day, Black is are the ones with the map pressure advantage. Now, once the Lords become even more important, they can use this to set up traps for RRQ, even though in, in, in the way, right, RRQ has a better vision game, considering that they have a very strong front line. Uh, let's take a look by the instant, uh, at the instant replay by TikTok of that fight. Begun with R7, just going in alone, but afterwards, Vin was able to locate Haji in the midst of all the chaos. Unfortunately, though, it's all traded in for several turrets in the process. Every single time, if it's Vin for Haji, that's worth it for RQ Hoshi. But if R7 has to come along, that bundle package is way too much. Yeah, the burst damage is something that Vin has to be careful about. <laughs> Not a real one manipulation, mind you. The pair, the airstrike, you can see Vin has to tap out. Yeah, and just looking at the items, Arashi, I just noticed, man, the 4K gold lead, you can see a lot of it on the junglers. You can see it on Albert, you can see it on Wise. There's almost, what, a thousand and a half, two thousand in between them. Oh, oh here we go. Oh. Joy Vengeance instantly deleted. That is a very scary jungle for RRQ to be in. This is the traps we were talking about with that vision game. Tyler. But look at the split push coming in from RRQ. They're trying to find value despite being on the back foot. Yeah. And keep in mind, on the point of items, there is a Necklace of Durance already rushed to be built by Clay, but Blacklist, they seem to be just going for the base. But the airstrike will be used to zone on RRQ right now. Albert's trying to make a play. He has to recall back the base for now. It's going to be Skylar. Oh no, he gets Carlton by Wise, and that would be a monster kill. Give it over to the Blacklist jungler. And Blacklist, right now, they were into the fight. What can oh. you do? When you don't oh. have a damage killer, Wise will say no more clay. One for one, Skylar for Haji, and just like that, Blacklist makes a beeline for the Lord. Arashi can RRQ contest. Without Skylar, it's going to be a very tough process. He is the main damage dealer for the BPM members, unless they can pick up Ohem or Haji. It's going to be very, very difficult, but Albert seems to be trying to make an attempt. Vin, just check in. And just like that, Blacklist, let's go. It looks like they want to make sure that it's a clean go. They want a full, maybe 3v5, 2v5 if they can. But with the way RQ Hoshi are finding Haji and threatening the kill on Oh My Venus, it's not so easy. It's not really easy at all. Skylar could just BMI right in and all try the Blazing Duet. But then there's the Menace, right? Oh My Venus, the thorn against RRQ side. This is the difficult part as well. Blacklist, they are content just trading out damage because they have Oh My Venus on the Estes that can allow them to sustain through modes of the damage. The same thing cannot be said for RRQ. We have to rely on a cult altar, right? A more decisive use of an ultimate to try and gain advantage. Vin can sustain with the shield and the healing coming in from the passive, but it's one compared to five. And for Blacklist right now, they have all the map pressure in the world to work with as well. But right now, Albert is the one that's far away from this Lord. They might just rush it. Different yeah, Ashra going in at the same time. It's going to be the Lord that will be forgotten by the both of these two teams. The Cold already committed, but that's the damage coming out from Clay. And 
Lars Evan will be able to find it back by Woody's only answering it away. Weiss will be down. Oh, trying to get you to do something, but he won't be able to do anything for now. Arthur tried to tip his ass. The ultimate was already oh. activated for now. He got in for the assassination. And that's the jungler gone. The jungler advantage is going to RR2. Oh, have for Vin was a good trade, but oh, now it's R. all going down. No, that's not a very good sign. RR2 does have the Richard Boozer battle right now. Stop the Blackness trying to make something happen. They need to try to land the Richard at the very, very right time. He has the Richard Mission and he gets the Lord. The baby alien scores it, and you hear the kingdom roar. RRQ running away. Edward and Omai Venus trying to look at least for a trade on the map. Blacklist still with a small lead, but RRQ Hoshi scores a Luminous Lord. They have caught up, and man, the building literally was shaking at that Lord take. That was way too close for comfort, and now Blacklist make a play for the purple. It does seem like Clay will be able to secure that buff. But now we have a bit of downtime, and let's talk a bit of the items yet again. Glowing ones have been purchased by the side of RRQ, knowing that there's just way too many big dudes on the side of Blacklist International. But on the other hand, look at Haji. That's a lot of burst damage, Divine Glyph as well, and with the, with the truncheon, there's a potential for an outplay to happen here. RRQ need to be very careful in calculating how long the cooldown is on that item. Oh, I think they have eyes on where Edward is. Haji pops a Feather Dare Strike, pushing Oof. away Vin. And this is what's so hard when you're Blacks International, right? You have to manage the waves because Albert's much, much faster than a majority of you. And then now you have to play honest. So far, Blacks International have kept a small lead, but now RRQ Hoshi, they've done so well to recover. The map is blue. I think it's the other way around. It's RRQ that's a little bit behind with the goalie. Black, they actually slowly claw all the way back, but it's going to be why R7 getting a bit of damage for here. Wise in the thick of the It's going to be all my minutes slowly healing up. Wise, Blacklist International, they defended their throne for now. This is the limitation of this team composition. Sure, it's a lot of damage. Sure, in a big fight, it has so much combo potential. But when you're up against a Barca, there is no high ground and there is no marksman to try and whittle down these turrets. So RRQ will be very, very reliant on winning fights with the Lord and then using the Lord to crack open the base of Blacklist. Now, knowing this, Blacklist can very easily adjust and look for traps, opportunities, and loopholes to try and punish RRQ. Oh. Wise, playing with fire. R7, come on. R7, Haji has to fly away, but it's going to be R7. I can be the ultimate as well. He's all the way in the back line. He's launching a low play. Managed to touch go out there just in time, but it's going to be all my meters actually desperately healing. The fight is using the melee. It's all about fight. They get closer. Wise, wise, wise. Unstoppable, unkillable. Skala and snap out. Haji managed to take that helmet as well. Elwin is not going to allow her to get around away. Oh, I'm in there. Just die down, Clay. The is... only problem is they left that wave up top. But again, a man down is a man down. Albert, 30 seconds away from spawning. Can he make it to this Lord fight? Are they gonna start it immediately? They can just go for it if they really want to try and deny Albert, but that's still a risky play against Araki's composition right now. They seem to be going for that oh. mid base oh, oh, oh. target. Yeah. But look at Clay, he's looking for an opportunity. This might be a disaster for them. Or oh, have going in. Clay was actually going to activate the Shadow Stampede just a little bit, try to zone it away. But Blacklist just continued to love to have that mid lane. And now RRQ's base cracked open. That's permanent damage Ooh. in mid, something that RRQ constantly have to tend to. And that's what Blacklist is avoiding. That's why they sent Edward back home. That's why Haji's paying attention to top lane. And Lord is a clean 5v5. I think RRQ just need to execute the fights cleaner, uh, cleaner here because earlier there's a lot of burst damage, there's a lot of potential, but when you funnel in one by one like that, it allows Blackness to deal with the threats individually. Whereas if you come at the same time, the Fanny, the Hilda, the Faramis, as well as the, the Claude, they have to actually uh, ration out their card control and maybe some one of them will pull through and be the deciding factor for RRQ Hoshi. Yeah, so they have to be very careful. Something tells me there has to be some specific way of cascading your skills for RRQ Hoshi to get it right now. Vin trying his luck. R7 coming in with an angle. Vin actually wants to fight as well. The call also activated at the same time. Hunter, he's better at try, trying to provide some high ground, some protection for Blacklist International. They shove RRQ out of the team fight. Just didn't work out. Now, yeah. Edward on R7. Let's see the relentless one not letting go. Team captain always pushing forward, oh leading with boots on the ground. This joy, four and four and six. That is the KDA of a true warrior. R7 wants to force the issue. And look at that wave down bottom. 
It's a huge wave, and R7 is pushing it out again, but Blacklist reacts almost instantly. R7 can flank right here. He does have the Divine Blade. That's a lot of damage available. Bin will be the one that oh. falls. It is going to be the China going into that time. Oh, my Venus. He's actually trying to kill, but we're not be able to do so. I think it's a lot of There's no damage at all, but it's not damage anymore. RRQ, they will try to fall. Oh, my goodness. The Queen will fall. And now RRQ has fallen. Control of the map. That was the exact order that they were trying to pull through the past five, six minutes. That's it. And now, RQ are threatening an inhibitor push. It's going to be an inhibitor push right now. It's going to be Jane that's absorbing all the time. It's going to be Frank open from the outside, but Hedwood. No, no, Just wait for them to the RQ. That is every more time than RQ. They are not going to give any more time. This is game number one, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be wise. Definitely try to all, but there's so many people beside RQ for now. Blacklist, Blacklist, they need to do something. What is it? Throwing punch? Not a good idea. It's RRQ. They still number one. Man. Oh my god. The King of Kings draw first blood here in Tennis Indoor Sinayan.